Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Edna and Harvey The Breakout. And when last we left off, we managed to get the bed linen moved to here, which meant that we could jump down on it from the laundry lift system and gain access to the main part of the asylum once again. We can now access every single room that we've come across, which meant that we could spread mayhem in this part of the asylum, using the barkeeper's signature and Strawbert Strawson. There's also something else I did that took a very long time. I'm not going to tell you what it is, but I'm sure you'll notice as we go back to the areas that we need to to progress the plot. Speaking of progressing the plot, we should do that. There are a number of things that we can do with the items that we've accumulated, but before that, we need to look at this bed linen. I'm sure there'll be different descriptions for it now that it's here as opposed to on the bed. Good thing this was down here. I would have broken all my bones otherwise. We certainly don't want that. Thank you. Let's now see if we can use it. I don't want to sleep. We certainly wouldn't make much progress if we tried. No, I don't want to take the laundry lift again. Oh yeah, let's ride bumper cars instead. If you can find some bumper cars, Harvey, we'll gladly do it. But I don't think you can, at least not on such short notice. Look, Harvey. Laundry! Are those funny ha- No. Then let's- I think that's going to be the same as if we looked at any other pile of laundry. But can we mess it up? <laughs> yes, we can. We can undo all the hard work that was already done to clean it. <laughs> Excellent. Let's try and use Strawbert Strawson. And then the knife and fork. I wouldn't touch it with a ten-foot pole. Uh, we can't do that. Okay, but at least we could cause minor amounts of mayhem. And we can make it ours. And can we make it... Yep, the barkeepers as well. And... That's actually, um, Dr. Marcel's signature, so what about the barkeepers? Is that a different XXX? No, you just drew over the same XXX. I had to check there because that was a little bit confusing. But either way, it's messy once more. And now let's look at the new item that's here. This coat hanger. Mr. Frox, it's number one. This is number one. That it is. You can't always be number one. But sometimes it's nice to be every once in a while. I only have the one gown. And if I hang that up, there'll be no approved for all audiences label for this game. We've got to make sure we keep that at all costs. Don't use that, Edna. Instead, try and take it. It's ours now, which means that we have two coat hangers. Number one and number two. Number one. Now let's see if there's any different interactions for using number one with Harvey. I highly doubt it, but it's worth checking. A wooden leg holder. But where's the wooden leg? Nothing different there, but there is one new thing that we can do, and that is using number one with number two. It's the first and probably only time that we're going to have two coat hangers at once. Look, Harvey, I can attach the hangers to one another. That's a stroke of genius. If this goes public, nobody will ever use single hangers again. I wonder if this can be seen as a group ticket for the laundry lift. I don't think it's meant to have a practical value. That would spoil it as a work of art. Is it a work of art though, Harvey? Is it? It's time for you all to debate, folks. Explain why this is or isn't a work of art. 20 marks total are available for this essay. Now let's look at poor Mr. Frock. Hey, this is Mr. Frock. That it is. Mr. Frock. He doesn't hear me. Not surprising considering he's in that washing machine. I'll switch to the spin cycle just briefly. I'm sure he won't mind. He isn't clean yet. He might be in there quite a while. Harvey, what do you think about Mr. Frock's predicament? Look, Harvey, isn't that Mr. Frock? I think he's overdoing it with his cleanliness. That's what you said about hippos, too. Well, sure. They're basically bathing the whole day. That they are, but they're never quite clean somehow. Seems like I'll have to wait until the spin cycle is done. That you will. What about the pen? Seems like I'll have to... I think we're going to get this for every single thing. 
We'll try the comic book, though. Captain Useless wears a cape made out of dirt repellent space fabric. That he does. And finally, let's try and use coat hanger number one. Seems like I'll have... No change there. Right, let's do a thing we definitely want to do here, and that is... Go and hand the person that's diligently digging his spoon. Or shovel. But he calls it a spoon, so we might as well call it a spoon as well. We're gonna be using this at some point, but not right now. I get the feeling it's going to be important. We also have other things that we could try and give him, like a coat hanger. Hello? Are you still down there? What is it this time? I've got something maybe you could use. I hope it's a spoon. That's supposed to be a spoon? Not really. I can't use that. I need a spoon for tunneling out of here. And for my tu- I thought I'd just check. We could try and spit on him. That would be very mean. But hey, we'll give it a go anyway. And we're certainly going to save before we do, just in case we lose our straw. We don't want to lose straw, but Strawson, we already lost Chairman Chairdike so long ago. Still hurts to think about it. All right, let's use the straw, not walk to straw, use straw. If only this hole were a fountain of youth. Yeah, we could shove Dr. Marcel down there. He was probably just like Alfred when he was young. <laughs> you can't be sure of that, but it's an interesting thing to ponder. What about putting the cocktail glass in here? Muzzledorf! Hey! Is it gone? It's gone. No surprise there. Can we see if he has a phone call? Hello? Hmm, nobody's answering. This must be the dead spot everybody talks about. Oh no! Not the dead spot! Does he want something from the menu? Hello? Anyone need to order anything down there? Yeah, I'd like to order something. One spoon, please. Hmm, I don't see a spoon on the menu. I'll see what I can do. Don't come back here without a spoon. I'm technically not going to leave, so is that all right? I doubt he's going to want the pinking shears. What about... Actually, we haven't got that many more items, considering we should probably try the pinking shears. It's already a hole. That it is. So what we're going to do is we're going to load the game so that we get that cocktail glass back, and then we're going to give him what he wants, the shovel. And I think I know what we're going to get in return. Something that's going to be very useful indeed. Something the Keymaster told us we would need to get out of here. Hello? Are you still down there? Hola. What's up? I finally found a... spoon for you. That's supposed to be a spoon? It has to be. The barkeeper stirred his drinks with it. Hmm. Well, what the hey? This will have to do until you found the proper one. Hmm. Thanks for your effort. Is that it? I was hoping to get something out of this, but, uh, maybe we need to talk to you to get the item. Hello? Are you still down there? Hello? I think he's preoccupied with digging. I think he is. I think we're gonna have to pop back here later. So let's go and head back to the main area of action, which is not here. Here is pretty quiet. We want to go back to where everyone is, because there's somebody we have to talk to. And just for the variety of it, let's use Coat Hanger 1. This looks dangerous. Ah, what the hey? And we still have a 2 here. I don't think the game considered you using Coat Hanger 1 here. The next exit is approaching. Harvey looks so sad there. Now, we want to go and give this to someone, because I think Alamon wanted better reception, and I think you can't get better than coat hanger number one. So why don't we give this to him? Why should I give that up? Okay, we can't give that to him. Fair enough. 
So instead, we'll do the one thing that we haven't done yet, which is go and meet the king of the recreation room. We want his gold medal. Well, well, well. My scouts reported that you'd be coming. A new power, they said, is on the rise in the eastern realm of the recreation room to overthrow me and my kingdom. What are you talking about? So, you managed to overcome my god. Poor, devoted, Drugglejog. I will avenge him with your blood. What? But woe is me. My hand is weak, for the weight of a sword is far too much for me to bear. Have I been temple morphed into the wrong game? Before you usurp what my dynasty has achieved through the years, my castle my throne and my gold medal from the jigsaw puzzle contest you will have to defeat me in a mental duel are you prepared for the challenge adrian certainly is one for dramatics but we don't want his throne we do want the medal though i don't want your stupid throne if this is meant to be a trick I have to warn you, I have psychic abilities. Is that so? You'd better believe it. Ask me a question. Oh my, there are lots of questions we can ask, and clearly we need to ask this one first. Where's Waldo? At the bottom of a well. The police will recover his body in just a few days. Oh no. Poor fellow. Oh no! That's terrible! Well, I guess there are no more books in that series to come. Will humans land on Mars? That's a clear no. What? Just no? Exactly. No. That may actually be quite accurate, but who knows what the future will hold. Who will be the next Pope? I see what you're driving at, and... No, it won't be you. Dang, I shouldn't have sworn so much. Aww, Edna for Pope, that would be very peculiar. Will I ever get out of here? Hmm. Uncertain your future is. A long way have you still yet to go. Pain and grief, I see. And, oops, what's that now? I see a lawsuit for copyright infringement. Wait, what? Why? Whose copyright did we infringe? Tell me! Tell me, Adrian! Oh, you're not going to tell me, are you? No, you're going to keep your secrets. What will the coin show next? Ha! <laughs> oh, nice try. Nice try for what? I get a feeling this, uh challenge you're going to give me is going to be silly, isn't it? Oh, who am I kidding? Many things are silly in this game. It's going to be silly. When will this conversation finally be over? Very, very soon. Don't you want to defeat me before it ends? I'll certainly try, but let's ask about that medal. A golden medal? Genuine gold? Of course. And that's not all. Why? What else? Um. well, all right. Just genuine gold. Nothing else. What were you expecting? It's still very impressive. We could ask about his psychic abilities again, or we could ask about the physical education class and what order he was picked. This is probably going to be important. Which place were you picked for a team during physical education class? First, of course. What other place is there for one such as I? Ha! And what kind of pet did you have as a child? A large, snappish dog. Just a second. It doesn't work like that. Um, what color was it? What is this supposed to be? Some kind of therapy? 
Well? So tell me, which color was he? Oh. What color was his dog? I think it was red, but let's get it wrong first with the silly answer. Mocha Octarine, polka dotted. Ha! Huh. Close, but no cigar. How can that possibly be close, Adrian? Which place were you picked for a team? First. Ha! And what? A lot. Yes. Uh, what? What is? Well. So tell me. Now let us get it right, shall we? As I imagine we've uh, heard all these lines before, and his answer's probably going to be the same. So, we'll just pick the right one. At least I think it's right. The dog was red? Red. Wow! You're right! Suddenly, I feel so... so understood. And everything is so much clearer. Yes! I was hit! by the same flash of lightning twice in a row, and feeling utterly helpless. I developed a control psychosis. I should start to relax and take it easy. Not everything has to be subject to my control. Um, exactly. Hey, thanks. You've helped me a great deal. Marvelous. Does that mean that we are now going to win this challenge? I hope so. I am ready. So be it. Let the joust begin. There's no turning back now. It's all or nothing. Victory or defeat. Glory or shame. Fish or cut bait. You know how to create suspense. I will ask you a question. And you shall give me the answer or perish. All right, all right. Just ask the question. Well then, the question is heads or tails? That's all? Heads or tails? That's the duel for the royal throne? Heads or tails? With him being psychic, I can see this going badly for me. Whatever I pick is likely going to be wrong, unless me doing that thing with the therapy managed to undo his psychic powers. I get the feeling that probably helped, but if it actually did enough, we'll find out. Tails. Heads. Well... Maybe you'll have better luck next time. Have you had enough? No! We will try again! I want to try once more. So be it. Heads or tails? Clearly it will be heads now. It's probably not going to be. Heads! Tails! Well, maybe you'll have better luck next time. Have you had enough? No! We'll try one more time! I want to try once more. So be it. Heads or tails? I'll win eventually! Heads! Tails! Well, maybe you'll have better luck next time. Have you had enough? You're cheating. You're using your psychic powers to cheat, aren't you? Why must I always lose? Do not blame yourself. There was a time when I too had to endure the same misfortunes as you. I tell nary a lie. I was a regular misadventurer. But then, I went out for a walk one night on the roof of the tower, there was a thunderstorm brewing. I opened my umbrella as a precaution, and my feet were immersed in buckets of water when I noticed that the TV antenna was crooked. Immediately, I took it upon myself to rectify the problem. What I remember next is seeing a dazzling flash of light. What exactly it was, I cannot fathom. 
But after that incident, I've never been off the mark again. You were struck by lightning, and you gained psychic powers. Also, I'm very surprised you didn't die. You really didn't stack the odds in your favour, did you? But it seems like no matter what we try right now, even with what we did, we're not going to win. We need to do something more. Well, I'll be gone then. Cheerio! We did our best, but it wasn't enough. Maybe we need to do something to- Ooh, that could work! The stuff is here in the asylum, but how? And so, when we come back folks, I'm gonna see if somebody can help me gain the power that Adrian has. Maybe Alamon can help, maybe Drogglejug, or maybe the Professor. Somebody will surely be able to give me a hand, and I do have a coat hanger that will allow them to gain access to the places where I am. I just need to see who's gonna help me. Somebody's got to, otherwise we'll never get that medal. And so, I'll catch you next time folks, and I'll see you then. Later.